I'm meteorologist Andy Chile and here to talk about the Saffir Simpson wind scale. This is how we rate hurricanes different categories one through five. So what are the different categories? What are the wind speeds? And I'm going to talk a little bit about what that is. So we start with category one. So a hurricane is officially defined when you get sustained wind speeds in the storm 74 miles per hour or higher. Category one is 74 to 95 miles per hour. Now a tropical storm is less than this. That's 39 to 73 mile per hour sustained winds. That's when the storm gets a name 38 miles per hour or less. That's a tropical depression and you also have to have a well defined circulation for any of these storms. So category one, these are hurricane force winds that can cause scattered damage. Then we get up to category two. Those are sustained winds 96 to 110 miles per hour. That's when you can get very dangerous winds. That is when you can get even more damage across the area. Then we get up to category three. Now category three and above, you may hear this referred to as a major hurricane. So major hurricane force winds. We're talking sustained winds, not just gusts, sustained winds in the hurricane, 111 to 129 miles per hour. And this can produce extensive damage. Category four sustained winds of 130 to 156 miles per hour just almost catastrophic damage and then the ever rare but even most catastrophic category five extreme winds with 157 miles per hour or greater. So on record, there has been actually several category five hurricanes in the Atlantic, but only four have made landfall in the United States as a category five. So there was the Labor Day hurricane in 1935 that didn't have a name. We didn't start naming storms in the United States until 1953. Then you had Hurricane Camille in 1969. That was a category five at landfall. Hurricane Andrew in 1992 and finally Hurricane Michael in 2018. Those are the only four storms to make landfall as a category five in the United States. You may be thinking, what about Katrina? Well, Katrina was a category five at one point in its life cycle, but it only actually made landfall as a category three. So now you know about the wind scale that we use to rate these hurricanes and we will see what happens here. But either way, now you know a little bit more about that. Now.